Hi there, this is Chaz. I'm doing a quick Minecraft tutorial. This is just like an idea of how to get started in the game. This is for a couple of my friends who are thinking of picking up the game, but they don't know what it's like yet. So this is for you guys. So if I go to single player, select world. Uh, world one there is one I've been working on already. So I'll generate a new one from scratch. This is all procedurally generated, kind of like uh, Dwarf Fortress and stuff. So, ooh, we got snow. Nice. Every time I generate a new world, it's like a new surprise for me. It's brilliant like that. So I'll just like wander over here to these trees. Do a little bit of swimming. So basic controls first. Uh, left click digs. Uh, right click if you're holding a certain block will place it down or certain tools will give you like an alternate uh, usage. So if I do that here I'll be a badass like Popeye and just punch out the logs of this tree. And be even more badass by defying the laws of physics because the tree's now hovering in midair. So smaller trees like this will give you like four to six blocks per tree. This one's got six. So six is a good number to start with. So if I press I to go to my inventory, left click on this, then left click here, then those logs will create planks. Each log creates four planks, so that's 24 planks in all. So now if I take that and right click on each of these blocks, or squares, or whatever. <laughs> yeah, if I do that, I will get a workbench. So now I can hold this and place it down. Oh, I'll place it down here. That's my workbench. If I right click the workbench, I'll get into a bigger crafting menu with a 3x3 three three grid rather than a 2x2 two two grid. So if I take these, again, right click to place two planks, one over the other, and got four sticks. Now, if I do two here, and then place three planks here, I will get a stone pickaxe. No, a wooden pickaxe, sorry, I fell. A wooden pickaxe, it's the most basic pickaxe, and it's not great, but it's a start. So, I'll just get stone here. Try not to use your pickaxe to dig up dirt because, uh, yeah, every improper use of a tool counts as two uses for that tool and it'll wear it down even quicker. How lucky, we found coal already. Nice. But yeah, um, I'll just take that one coal lump for now. So, if I do the same as last time, like, three stone blocks this time, two sticks like that, then we get a stone pickaxe. Pardon me for that mistake earlier. So now we'll go back down, and now that we have a better pickaxe that lasts longer, we can get back to mining for coal. There we go, I think that's all the coal we'll get from there. So now I go up here, right click on this again. Um, I might need more stones actually. So I'll go get that real quick. Yeah, that'll do. There. Hello, sheep. Uh, <laughs> so if I do this make a square surrounding that one empty circle, I now get a furnace. So, place the furnace down there. And now with that additional stone, you can turn cobblestone back into normal stone by burning it. Don't ask me how this works, I don't know. So, there you go. Basic, yeah, proper stone, as I like to call it. There you go.
Now the other thing that coal is really important for is if I make extra sticks here. If I place the stack of sticks there and place a lump of coal there, then I will get torches. Four torches for every uh, lump of coal and stick. And torches are very important because when you're exploring caves or at night time, you know, things will start to get really dark. So you want to make sure the place is well lit. Uh, because it's the Halloween update, uh, a few days later Notch is going to implement a thing that will make these extinguish after a while, so you will have to craft lanterns instead, which will be infinite. But these are still handy for temporary light sources. And I think that's everything you really need to know to get started. Um, I'm not going to tell you how to build a house or anything, because I mean your house, your design, you can do whatever you want. And this is Minecraft. And I'm Chaz, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I know I've been rambling on a bit, but still. I hope it helped out a little bit. Bye!